Today I wanted to show you how to spray paint a ceramic lamp base. Even though the white lamp that I have is really, really nice, it just didn't fit in the space that I wanted it in. It just tended to wash out with the walls. So I wanted to paint an oil, paint the ceramic base an oil rub bronze. And the materials that I ended up using were the Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer. This is the best paint ever. You don't even have to sand or anything with it. It's great. I used a mask, painter's tape, and then you might want to have some paint thinner and a little paintbrush on hand. So here's the paint. It's the Krylon Fusion. You can get this. You can order it on Amazon or get it at Lowe's. And then the painter's tape. Painter's tape is important because it's going to, you're going to wrap the tape around the neck of the lamp, the socket, and the cord so that you won't get overspray all over the, the lamp in the areas that you don't want paint in. So you can see how you'll just wrap everything around and be real specific with that tape. Get it in every little crack and crevice that you can. Then what you'll do is you'll take your Krylon Fusion and you'll shake it for 30 seconds. To, it says one to two minutes, but I just shook it for 30 seconds and it worked out fine. And then you will go to your lamp base that's taped off and you'll start to spray. You want to stay eight to 10 inches away from that base and spray in, the, in a sweeping motion up and down and all the way around. You want to do light coats. Wait a few minutes between each coat. It might take a few minutes to dry but just keep going around and around with light coats. You don't want to do anything heavy because you want to avoid drips. When you're done with that, you want to flip it upside down and paint the bottom of it. If you can't flip it upside down, you're going to have to go around the base of it, which is a little bit tougher, but it can definitely be done. Then when you're done, you want to take that painter's tape off and you need to get that off as soon as the fixture dries, as soon as the paint dries, because it has a tendency to get sticky. If, it, if you find that you have overspray anywhere on your cord or on your lamp, you can go ahead and dip a rag, a, a, actually a clean cloth, into a solution of water and paint thinner. And that should get it off. And here's my final product. I was really happy with it. And I appreciate you coming out today. And there is a full description of everything at the bottom or below the post. Thanks for visiting.